Sunland Park this week, we'll focus on Sunland Park this week with a trip to the West Coast as well. On February 23rd, Sunland Park hosted its last major prep day for the Sunland Park Oaks and Sunland Derby. The $100,000 Mind That Bird Derby had a small but competitive field with the starters coming from four different tracks. Number four, Sir Rick, was a slight favorite off an impressive victory in Houston. Sir Rick could have a lot left in the tank here. He's now entering the stretch with a sizable cushion. It's Sir Rick by three lengths from top draw. Stack and Silver will have to find more. Tapping for a dance is a distant fourth. It's all Sir Rick with a furlong to go, and he's showing his stuff. It's going to be Sir Rick, and his next stop should be in the Sunland Derby. It was also a good effort from top draw, trained by Miguel Hernandez. Mr. Rick has now won four of six lifetime starts and is definitely a candidate to return for the Sunland Derby. On the Philly side, Dynasty of Her Own was heavily favored after her romp here in the Borderplex stakes last month. However, things were not so easy this time around. Here comes a huge move from Brave Cinderella from last to third, and she's going to contend for the island fashion. They're into the top of the stretch now. Shanghai Keeley taking over. Back into second, Brave Cinderella coming. Nothing left in the tank for Dynasty of her own. It's a Justin Evans battle here. He's got either one. Shanghai Keeley holding a half. It's Shanghai Keeley in a polished win in the island fashion. The first two spots in the island fashion go to local trainer Justin Evans. Both were fillies he recently brought in from Northern California. Shanghai Keeley, who raced the mile distance three times before, is now a prime candidate for the $200,000 Sunland Park Oaks. That race and the $700,000 Sunland Derby will highlight the program here on March 22nd. Speaking of Golden Gate, that track recently held its major three-year-old event, the El Camino Real Derby. A wall of horses turned into the stretch, but watch Azul Coast in the yellow cap. Indian Peak and Azul Coast are going on. Here's Indian Peak, Azul Coast, head and head in the final 16th. American Farmer at 19 to 1, making up ground as well, but Azul Coast is game, and Azul Coast turns them all away. A strong finish at the mile and an eighth distance sets him up well for a trip to Sunland, and trainer Bob Baffert said that could well be the plan. Azul Coast is owned in part by Mike Pegram, who is also a two-time winner of the Sunland Derby. This coming Saturday is Pink Day at the park, the annual Breast Cancer Awareness Fundraiser. There's a silent auction along with prizes and giveaways throughout the day. The event begins at noon, and all proceeds will benefit the Stand with a Stella Fund. And we'll see you next time for more on both the national and local three-year-old picture on Sunland Park this week.